How's it going my peeps? Welcome back to the channel. We had a little bit of drama over on Instagram this week. As always, I gave you guys four options to choose from on my Instagram story, but like the big old dummy that I am, I forgot to include the yes or no poll button on the mac and cheese. Are you new here? In an effort to retcon the situation, a few hours later, I added another story with the button, but that got half as many views and votes, so I don't know if that's fair. Because it kind of technically won with an asterisk, like the Houston Astros in 2017, uh, we will be making them just next week. And instead this week, we're gonna be trying out Google Foods Al Pastor Tacos. I've been on a weird taco kick recently, I'm just craving them every day between the tahin shrimp TikTok recipe last week, the restaurant by my house that sells these Korean bulgogi tacos. I feel like I've just been inhaling them recently. But these ones, my friends, might knock every other taco I've had recently out of the water. They look so damn good, and I cannot wait to sink my teeth into them. So shout out to Google for this recipe. Let's get right into this one. I do find myself feeling a little bit guilty when I'm only testing one very straightforward recipe in one of these videos. You know, I only upload once a week, I have turned the dial to 10 and pretty much always done four if not five recipes in recent videos. But when you see everything that we're gonna have to prepare for this one taco, you might be willing to cut me some slack. You will need a pineapple and some guajillo chilies, some ancho chilies and salt, cinnamon, white vinegar, corn flour and butter, Mexican crema and black pepper, oregano, cumin, pineapple juice, white pepper, annatto seeds, some mayo and fresh oranges, an avocado, an onion, some water, fresh cilantro, limes, tomatillos, garlic, and a big old chunk of pork butt. That was a damn mouthful. If you have not seen Guga's video, or you couldn't tell based on the clips I've been showing you, we are gonna make every single component of this from scratch. The al pastor marinated pork, the corn tortillas, both a spicy chili sauce as well as a creamy avocado sauce, and then of course all the little toppings that will crown our tacos at the end. And as I prep up the marinade for the pork, let's just have a chat. I feel like it's been quite a while. I hope you're all doing lovely. I have to apologize about the copious amounts of, let's say, business partners in some of my recent videos. Uh, it was a weird scheduling thing that ended up making it so many in a row, so my bad. I hope those of you who are finishing up their last quarter or semester of school or college are doing great, even though I am regularly reminded that the majority of you are no longer in school and that you started watching me in middle school seven years ago and making me feel like a damn sarcophagus. Container to hold a coffin. I mean ancient, old, I feel old. Anyways, apparently you need to either tape up or cover the edges of your food processor if you're making this marinade because this exploded all over my countertop. Definitely have never had that happen before. And then I got my pork sliced up nice and thin, tossed in with my marinade and let rest in the fridge for a complete 24 hour cycle. The next day I got working on my sauces starting with the creamy avocado sauce. It's a very simple mix of some avocado, lime juice, lots of mayo, and some cilantro. I'm sure that'll be buttery and delicious. And then I worked on the chili sauce. A couple things with these sauces. I don't love the way he rehydrates dried chilies. If you just dunk them down in boiling water, they're gonna kind of float on the top. In my opinion, from my experience, they kind of need steam. So either boil water, pour it over, and cover it with some plastic to let them steam, or just cover your pan with a lid for a couple minutes and it should kind of steam them and bring them back to life. Also, with both of these sauces, he lists two tablespoons of mayo in his description. I ended up using way more than that, probably five or six tablespoons because this ended up being just like a chili puree. I was trying to match both the color and the consistency of what he had in the video, so if you wanna do the same, you're probably gonna have to add more as well. And for the last component, the one I am honestly least excited for, the homemade corn tortillas. I don't know what it is. I don't mind them, but I definitely prefer a flour tortilla. I really related to Matty Matheson when he went on a tangent about corn tortillas way back when. 
They're just not that exciting. And depending on the brand that you buy, sometimes they're just outright gross, so there's that. And because I do not have a tortilla press, I have to use my old trusty method of a Ziploc bag, my kitchen scale to make sure I'm getting all these balls the same weight, and then a very heavy glass baking pan to kind of smush them down. I use the glass so I can kind of see what I'm doing, try to push it down evenly, make it nice and round. And it works, I think. It's the best method I have found without a tortilla press. And then of course, they're gonna get cooked off on an extremely hot cast iron. You don't want these cooking for longer than a minute or 45 seconds aside because they'll get super dried out and cracky. Also obviously make sure to cover them with a damp towel so they can steam themselves and stay nice and pliable. And now, in case you forgot, back over to our meat. Some big old slices of pineapple are gonna act as our clamps to kind of hold all the meat together. And if you thought that once I had my pork stacked up and looking nice, I was going to do as Guga did and go out to put this in the grill, you would be very incorrect. It's still like 30 degrees here in New York, so if y'all think I'm gonna be sitting outside waiting on this and like basting it every couple minutes, no, not today. And while that was cooking and I got all my other ingredients prepped up and ready to go, Guga, I know I might not have the same name recognition as a Nick Giovanni or a Joshua Weissman, but I'm ready for a food battle if you aren't so scared. Do I think you will wipe the floor with me? Of course, but it'll be fun. So hit the DMs, cause I will be waiting. But finally, the time has come to assemble these damn tacos. This was two days in the making. All this work and all it would take is the pork to not have been cooked well or seasoned well enough, or for the tortillas to fall apart. Like one minor issue could cause catastrophe here. Luckily though, so far we have avoided that and these things look fantastic. Do they look better than last week's tahine shrimp mango tacos? I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know. I'm so scared that it's gonna fall apart. I do not trust my tortilla making skills at all. Mmm. Wow. This is exactly what I wanted it to be. It reads so fresh and flavorful. I love all the toppings, obviously the onion, pineapple, and cilantro. The sauces are great, just tasting them on their own, but all together, it elevates everything so much more. And that damn pork, it is so good and deeply flavored. You get the smokiness from the chilies. It's juicier than a award show after party drama. Sorry, you knew I had to sneak that in somewhere. Um, I don't love the tortillas. I don't love corn tortillas in general, as I said. They're not bad at all. They're just kind of the most mediocre part of the taco. You kind of forget that you even made them. And compared to some tortillas we made like Joshua's, these do not stand out. Overall though, extremely delicious. I recommend at the very least you make this pork part uh, and then maybe just buy some tortillas from the store. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know by leaving a big thumbs up. Please, down in the comments, let me know what you'd like to see me make next. Obviously, we have to do the mac and cheese verses, but after that, I might just go through the comments and pick out the most liked one. So like each other's comments as well. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram if you do not already, and other than that, have an awesome weekend, and I will see you right back here next time. Peace! Put my finger cook, yeah, chefing in that kitchen, flexing how we live in, yeah. yeah, I'm cooking up that fire out in David's kitchen, they were calling me a lie, nah, they be wishing, that they could have seen the fire out in David's kitchen, yeah, we cooking up that rah, rah, yeah, yeah, now we eating all the fries out in David's kitchen, yeah, we living super size, ah, yeah.